Good morning children. It's time for today's EVS class. We are doing the 11th chapter Valley of Flowers. Today's subtopic is Parts of a Flower. The targeted learning outcome of today's class is to know about the parts of a flower. The competencies covered here are observation and identification. Before starting today's class, let us quickly revise what you have learned in the previous class. In our last class, you have seen that night queen and orchid cactus bloom only at night. Morning glory and hibiscus bloom at day and close at night. Periwinkle and rose bloom all the year round. Marigold blooms in summer and autumn and dahlia blooms in winter. Jasmine and tube rose have very strong smell. We should not pluck flowers because flowers make seeds. A new plant grows from a seed. Children, today you will learn about the parts of a flower. Observe this hibiscus flower carefully. What do you see? Look here the picture of hibiscus petals. A petal is a colored part of a flower. Petals are of bright colors and scent. In some flowers the petals are separate like the periwinkle flower. Whereas in marigold, the petals are in bunches. Children, have you seen small green petal-like structures that cover the petals before they emerge? Yes, they are called sepals. Look here the picture of hibiscus sepal. In hibiscus flower, you might have seen a fine tube-like structure. This tube is known as the filament. So, filaments are fine tube-like structures in some flowers. Children, have you ever touched a flower? Yes, of course, you might have touched some flowers. Do you find some powdery substances in the flowers? Yes. They are called pollens. So, pollens are powdery substances found in flowers. Before a flower blooms, the petals are covered by these green structures. This is known as bud. So, bud is a small and pointed structure which develops into a flower. Look here the picture of a rose bud which is gradually blooming into a rose flower. A bud slowly blooms into a flower. A flower is large with its petals spread out. How much time does it take for a bud to bloom? Actually, different flowers take different times to bloom. Some flowers bloom in few days, whereas some flowers take several weeks to bloom. So children, today you have learnt about some important parts of a flower and how a bud blooms into a flower. You have learned that a petal is the colored part of a flower. Petals are of bright colors and scent. Sepals are small green petal like structures that cover the petals before they emerge. Filaments are fine tube like structures in some flowers. Pollens are powdery substances found in the flowers. A bird is a small and pointed structure which develops into a flower.
Today, you write down the answers of these questions. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks. Part A. The colored part of a flower is called dash. Part B. Powdery substance found in the flowers is called dash. Part C. A dash is a small and pointed structure which develops into a flower. Question number 2. Draw a rose bud and a rose flower. Children, write down these answers in your notebook and learn the answers with their spellings. That's all in today's class. Thank you.